I hope that you guys are doing amazing at home. Welcome back to my class, students. And today is going to be a bit different because this video is going to be the first video in a new series that I call as Vocabs for You. Series will be focusing on improving your vocabulary. I know that everyone cannot wait to see what today's topic is but first you gotta do something for me click on the red subscribe button down below and click also on the bell notification button so that you will be the first to know whenever i upload a new lesson video and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up up and share it with all of your friends so that everybody can learn and improve their english vocabulary all right once you're done with that so we can start now okay jump let us begin with the lesson do you know that there are so many types of houses not just in malaysia but all over the world amazing right so the first one is a bungalow a bungalow this is a big house and we also have a cottage cottage ni uh, usually is made of wood so dia adalah rumah kayu okay the next house you might feel that it's kind of strange because you probably never seen it before but it can be found in cold places okay. orang di sana duduk di dalam sebuah rumah that is called as an igloo uh, the next house is the most common house terrace house ataupun in malay ya lebih kurang je bunyi dia rumah terrace and the next one is where all the princes and princesses live so it is a castle ataupun in malay we call it as istana the next one this house is a tall building with many floors banyak tingkat this house is called as an apartment all right boys and girls so the first step is that we are going to learn all the different names all the different parts of a house okay but first please remember that not all houses are the same so ada rumah yang tak ada certain parts ada yang ada semua parts so, all right so have a look at this picture of a house we can see there are different parts of it all right so we are going to learn what are the names so the first one is this is a bathroom a bathroom the next one is a bedroom so there are two bedrooms over here this one is the bigger one biggest bedroom in the house is called as the master bedroom all right the next one we have a kitchen kitchen or in malay we call it as dapur Okay, the next part that we are going to look at is here, over here. This is underground. Okay, so this is called as the basement or a cellar. Alright, usually in Malaysia, we don't have this kind of room. But maybe sometimes uh, certain houses do have this. Next one, this is a dining room. Ah, if you want to know what the dining room is for so stay tuned next one we have the living room so as you can see we have a sofa we have a television can you guess what we do in the living room and the next one is a laundry room this is a laundry room it doesn't necessarily must be underground certain house have these like upstairs pun ada downstairs pun ada uh, it's different for uh, each house guess right what is the laundry room for yeah to wash your 
includes but some house doesn't have this my house doesn't have this instead uh, instead of having a specific laundry room we have a specific area or just a corner where we put the washing machine where do you usually hang out with your family it's a it's in the living room ataupun in malay we call it as ruang tamu kalau orang datang rumah pun ha kat sinilah dia orang kita jamu dia orang makan dan minum kan all right so this is a picture of a living room so we have a television a sofa a coffee table Okay, so now let's look at what some of the things that you can find in the living room. Find in the living room. The first one is a sofa. Okay, sofa tempat kita nak duduk relax-relax, tempat we take a nap after school, bila penat tu kan. Next one, we have a rug. Rug or also we call it as a carpet. This one is a television. Ha. And then we also have a coffee table. Macam-macam bentuk coffee table ada uh, dekat living room ni. Ha. And next one, we have paintings. Paintings ni lebih kepada uh, decorations lah. Uh, your parents will hang them on the wall to make the room looks livelier. Sometimes, pictures of your family members. Betul tak? Okay, next we have a wall clock. Ada jam dinding to tell the time. And sometimes, you also have some cushions in your living room. Usually, uh, your mom will put these cushions with the sofa over here. Where do you sleep at night? Kat mana korang tidur? In the bedroom, right? So, you can see this is a very nice bedroom with a bed, with a very comfy looking bed. So the first one, sometimes you may or may not have this. Uh, this is called an alarm clock. Alarm clock ataupun jam loceng. What do you use an alarm clock for? Ah uh, Yes, you use it to help you get up early in the morning, especially for school. Especially for those who find it really difficult to wake up early in the morning. So they need some help. Sometimes your mom is your alarm clock, right? Next one, we have a bed. Ha, kat sini lah, korang tidur. Alright, not every bedroom is the same. Alright, next one, we sometimes have a bedside table and a bedside lamp in our bedroom. Ah, Bedside, kenapa kita panggil dia bedside? Because kita letak dia di tepi katil. Next one, we have a study desk. Some people have this in their bedroom, some people don't. Uh, what do you use it for? You usually use it uh, to put all your books or to do your homework here. We have pillows. Ah, usually, this is put, uh, they are put on your bed. Okay? Next one, we also have a bookshelf. What do you use a bookshelf for? Ah, just like its name, macam nama dia. In Malay, we call it as rak buku. So, arrange them neatly so that they tak bersepa-sepa atas lantai. Then, uh, your room will look nicer. Uh, a wardrobe or sometimes we call it as a closet. So, ini adalah tempat kamu letak where you keep all of your clothes in. Ha. Where does your mom cook? Ha. Dekat mana, kat dalam rumah kamu, yang mak kamu selalu masak? Ha, takkanlah dekat dalam bedroom, betul tak? Obviously, our mom always cooks in the kitchen, dekat dapur. So, here we have a picture of a kitchen. Uh, we can see a fridge, a kitchen counter. What are some of the things that you can normally find in a kitchen? Uh, I did not show everything that you can put in your kitchen because it's impossible. Uh, kalau macam Madam nak letak semua benda yang kamu letak dalam rumah kamu, this lesson will be like 24 hours. Kan? So, I just put uh, only a, a few of the things that you can find in. normally find in the kitchen is... Ah, normally you will have a refrigerator. What do you use a refrigerator for? We use it to keep all our food in. Why? Because it helps to keep the food 
fresh. And this one, we have a stove. Ataupun in Malay, we call it as dapur gas. So this is usually where your mom cooks meals for your family. Next one, we have a mixer. Do you know what a mixer is for? Your mom will use this to mix the batter for a cake or for cookies, for biscuits, cupcakes, muffins and so much more. Next, we have a microwave oven. Ha, microwave oven ni selalunya kita gunakan untuk reheat food, untuk panaskan makanan. And sometimes you can also cook simple food in a microwave oven. So next one, we have an oven. Ha, if you're wondering kat mana your mom cook bake all the cakes and cookies, it's here inside an oven. Next one, we have a toaster. Who here likes to eat toast? What do you like to put on your toast? Chocolate, strawberry jam, butter, peanut butter. Hmm, all sounds so delicious, right? My favorite is toast with strawberry jam. Hmm, sounds so good. I think I might have one after this lesson. Alright, the next one that we can find in the kitchen is a blender. It is used to blend food items. When your mom were, wants to cook mee goreng, fried noodles, uh, she will blend like onions in this, chili first, so and then the tumis, and then the boleh goreng mee lah, ha, macam tu. Have you seen your mom use the blender before? The next part of the house that we are going to learn about is a place where do you take your shower? Takkan dekat kitchen, betul tak? So, you take your shower in the bathroom. Okay? So, here is a picture of a bathroom. The things that you can find in a bathroom. The first one is a bathtub. Okay. Don't worry, not every bathroom has this. My bathroom doesn't have this. Put water inside, put some bubbles in and then you can uh, take a bath in it. Next one, we have a toilet roll. Honey tissue yang people put in the bathroom. Alright, next, it's a shower. Most of the houses in Malaysia, we have this. We usually take showers. Next one, we have this. More than what this is, right? So, this is a toilet. We have a toothbrush. What do you use a toothbrush for? Obviously, just like its name. It's for you to brush your teeth. Have a? Of course, we have a toothpaste. We have a toothbrush, so we must have a toothpaste. So, next one, we have a mirror so that you can Look at your face, your beautiful and, and handsome face. And we also have a sink where you can brush your teeth or wash your face. Where do you have meals with your family? We have meals with our family in the dining room. Or in Malay, we call it as ruang makan. What are the things that you can find in a dining room? Let's see. So the first thing is, of course, we have a dining table. Alright, next one. First, your mom will put a vase with flowers in it to decorate the dining table so that it looks more beautiful. Next one, find glass right we put some juice in some maybe plain water in uh, the glass all right next one we have a plate this is where what you put your food in malay we call it as pinggan next one we have a jug where you put your drinks in next one we have what we call as cutlery fork Spoon and this is a knife. Ini adalah alatan yang kamu guna untuk makan. And sometimes Malaysian usually use what? What are our famous thing that we use for eating? Our hands. Next one. We have a placemat and this, the light blue one. This is called a placemat. Use a placemat so that when we eat and something uh. Spill. You don't get crumbs or pieces of food on the table. 
Where do you wash your clothes? Ha, kat mana kamu basuh baju kamu? So, in the laundry room. This is a picture of a laundry room. Do you have all the items shown in the picture? Fine, in the laundry room. The first thing, this is the most important thing. If not, it cannot be called as a laundry room. It's a washing machine ataupun mesin baso. This is what you use to wash your clothes. Next one, we have a hamper. A hamper. A hamper is basically a basket where you put all your dirty clothes in. We also have an iron. You use this to iron your clothes, your wrinkled clothes. Ah. So, they become uh, tak berkedut lagi cantik nice neat and you look smart at school all right next we have a ironing board ha, kita ada iron and then we have an ironing board to make it easier uh, for us to iron our clothes we have detergent this sabun basuh baju all right so kenapa kita kena letak detergent of course to make sure that our clothes are clean and also to make all the clothes smell good and fresh next one we have hanger usually we don't only have a hanger we have a lot of hangers to hang our clothes maybe the clothes that we have are just washed and we want to dry them we put it in a hanger and hang them and also we use hanger to hang all the clothes that we have already ironed so that they don't get wrinkled again all right so now we are going to do some activities it's activity time so what you have to do is i will show you a picture and you will identify what is the name of that household item and we are going to look at some uh, simple sentences. What is this? What is this picture? So, television. So, how do you spell a television? T the television is in the living room. Uh, TV itu berada di ruang tamu. So, we watch movies and cartoons on the television we watch movies and cartoons on the television picture number two what is that yes it's a refrigerator the refrigerator is in the kitchen but this situation berada di dalam di dapur ha, the refrigerator is in the kitchen next one we keep milk in the refrigerator so it does not go bad. What is this? It's a sofa. The sofa is in the living room. The sofa is in the living room. Sometimes I take a nap on the sofa. Next picture. What is this? This is a a stove. How do you spell it? For gas. The stove is in the kitchen. The stove is in the kitchen. Dapur gas itu berada di dapur. Next. My mother cooks some soup on the stove. Next picture. It's a washing machine. The washing machine is in the laundry room. The washing machine is in the laundry room. We wash our dirty clothes using the washing machine. Next one. What is this? It's a dining table. The dining table is in the dining room. The dining table is in the dining room. We eat our meals together at the dining table. Okay guys, moving on. What is this? It's an oven. The oven is in the kitchen. The oven is in the kitchen. Oven itu berada di dapur. Next one. 
Aimi bakes some delicious chocolate cookies in the oven. Let's have a look at the next picture. What do you think this is? It's a study desk. It's a study desk. The study desk is in the bedroom. The study desk in is in the bedroom. I often do my homework at the study desk. So let's take a look at this picture. What do you think this is? It's a bookshelf. The bookshelf is in my older brother's room. The bookshelf is in my older brother's room. Next one. Hannah puts her books on the bookshelf so they are nice and tidy. Next picture. What is this? <laughs> it's a wardrobe or you can also call it a closet. So let's look at some sample sentences. So the wardrobe is in the bedroom. The wardrobe is in the bedroom. Moas arranges his clothes neatly in the wardrobe. Okay guys, we have come to the end of the Mommy. video lesson. So, thank you for watching and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button down below as well as the bell notification so that you will be the first one to get notified whenever I Mommy. upload a new video. Alright, so until I see you again in the next video lesson, until then, <coughs> goodbye and Assalamualaikum. <coughs>